Good afternoon, everyone. Everyone, I'm exhausted. Uh, I just, I'm just getting back in the house. I had a doctor's appointment today. Uh, I'm just getting back into the house. Which actually, I got through my doctor's appointment. And I was back home by 12. My appointment was this morning. It is now 3 p.m. But when I got back from the doctor's appointment, I decided I was going to take those pants back and I was going to ride my scooter. And ride my scooter I did. I rode the scooter, but guess what? The old girl got lost. Let me tell you. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but I did get lost. I missed my turn. And what happened was, what had happened was, I was on the bike trail, which takes you all the way to Hampton, Connecticut. And uh, I, I think it goes beyond, I'm not sure. I, I'll tell you that, but you're probably just as lost as I could get. That was my first, well, it really wasn't my first rodeo, because I had taken the bike trail before. But I had gotten off way, you know, before uh, where I was going. Because I was going to take those pants back. Remember the pants that I had gotten when me and my cousin were out? And they were too, or they were too tight. I could have worn them, but I don't wear stuff that tight. Unless it's leggings. And I missed my turn. I said, I know Walgreens is right across the John Brown Street. But see, I'm on the bike trail, so I'm in the back of it. And then when I realized that I was not where I was supposed to be, I saw the back of Home Depot. I said, oh, sooky, sooky now. I was almost to Walmart. When I saw Home Depot, I couldn't get, I couldn't really get off the trail. You know, because there's a certain, uh, you know, you get, they got certain turnoffs that you can make and you can't just say, well, hey, I'm, I'm lost now. I got to either you're going to turn around or you're going to move forward. You go, you know, you're going to keep it going. And so I kept it going. And it was hot. Well, it really wasn't that hot because the trail is very shaded in most parts. So you're not in direct sunlight all the time. But I did have my umbrella with me. I said, just in case, you know, I do get hot, I have my umbrella. And I said, I can always call my ride, you know, because they can put my scooter right in the truck or whatever it is, you know, they do. And, but I had already paid. Uh, <laughs> one time, you know, when I went to the doctor today, I, that was 10 bucks because I paid there and back, which before I took the scooter, but I didn't feel like taking a scooter this morning. And so I took the ride there and back. Doctor wanted me to have blood work. Ain't nothing but a bunch of vampires, I tell you. And so I got my, that's what took me so long to get home because my appointment was actually at 10.20 this morning. And I was waiting. It's the waiting that takes so long, y'all. And she wanted me to get it done today. And so, you know, to get it done today, I had to just go downstairs from her office to, uh, you know, the blood work, the blood thing, whatever, the blood draw place. And so that was another wait. I waited. I waited. But you know what? One thing I didn't have to wait a long time for was my ride. When I got done with my blood work, I came, I called uh, my ride, and I said, well, uh, okay, I'm going outside. So I was, you know, because they have benches outside, you know, in warm weather. You like, Well, I like to sit outside and, along with a lot of other people to wait for their rides or, you know, just sit out there for whatever. And so I'm sitting out there on the, I actually <laughs> walked out the door and looked and my ride was there. I said, that's what I call cooperation now. Who the boss? And so <laughs> that was great, you know, because I had been waiting all morning. I got to wait for the doctor. got to wait for the blood draw. Wait, 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 wait. They put you in the room. You got to wait, 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 wait. I don't know. She ain't told me nothing that, uh, you know, I haven't already known, that I didn't already know. And, uh, no, nothing changed except my blood pressure, uh, as usual, was a little high. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get ready to take it in a few momentos. 
That's what I promised myself. I said, I have to calm down and relax and everything. You know, from getting in the house. I'm telling you, I just got in the house maybe 10 minutes. 15 max, I've been in the house. Been here long enough to put some coffee, put some water in the microwave. Heat. Well, I changed my clothes. Changed my clothes, well, maybe 20 minutes. Changed my clothes. Put water in the microwave to heat up for my coffee. Which I didn't know if that was a good idea or not, because I just came out from outside and, you know, in the heat. But I didn't break no sweat. I had on my little corduroy hat. And I, and I had the audacity to have on long sleeves. Remember my long uh, purple sleeve shirt? I wore that. And uh, mm -mm, the bike trail is cool, I tell you. And the wind was blowing. There was a nice breeze. But the only thing is, there's some characters on the bike trail, okay? I'm scared of them kick them. I think some people are camping out on the bike trail. I don't know. Let me hush. I, I don't know what's going on at the bike trail. But I did think I saw a grill out there. Somebody was cooking an office chair. I don't know if they set up their office out there or not. I don't know what it's going on, yo. <laughs> but you know, I didn't feel scared or anything like that. There's a lot of people riding their bikes down there, and I and had one encounter with one dog. Dog looked at me funny. I didn't appreciate that dog at all. And then, you know, this lady got a long leash about yay long. If you see somebody coming, you, you don't know what your dog is going to do, correct? Shouldn't you pull that dog closer to you instead of let him go rolling over there and do what he want to do? No, that's not the way to walk a dog, y'all. When you see somebody and you don't know if your dog is going to be vicious, at all dogs bite. Let me tell you that. Number one, all dogs, let me throw that out to you, all dogs bite. They got teeth, they bite. And one thing I, I, I don't like people telling me nothing about, oh, he won't bother you, he won't bite you. I've seen the most gentle dogs turn vicious. I told you, did I tell you about the day, the day this dog chased me? He was a, that dog had never done that before. But see, this dog had had dementia. And dogs suffer from things just like we do. And I'll never forget the day that, uh, <coughs> excuse me y'all, something wrong in my throat, something going on here, I don't know what. Maybe because I really haven't talked since I left the doctor's office. And, uh, I remember this lady, she and her little daughter, I think it was a baby. I, I don't know if it was a baby or a little toddler that she had. This is their dog, their own pit bull. He was the family pet. They were watching TV together. All of a sudden, the lady, the, the dog viciously came in and viciously attacked the, do the, uh, the baby. The lady run, nothing she could do, she, you know, because he had a hole in the baby. And nothing that she could do, so she ran, locked herself in the room, called 911. Your own dog. I don't know if you remember, um, uh, Doberman Pinschers at one time were very popular. Very popular. But they, they, they realized that Doberman Pinschers would turn on their masters. And so will a pit bull. Oh, yeah. And then uh, one other incident that I remember, which happened, you know, not too far. It was right here in uh, Connecticut. It was on, uh, in West Haven, I believe. And this lady had gone to the store to get a pack of cigarettes. And a little baby, I think the little baby was 18 months old, was in the other room, sleep. Two pit bulls were left in the house. The door was closed. Lock you know, it wasn't locked, but it was, you know, closed. Do you know them dogs opened that door and went in there and killed that baby? While well, she had went to the store. I don't know what the uh, rest of the uh, the outcome was, you know, as far as she was concerned. I don't know if she was charged or not. But she had left the baby in there. She, that baby was on the floor asleep. And them dogs came and opened the door. So... Put your trust in your own dog if you want to. I trust a Yorkie because what can I do? What can he do? He bite. <laughs> I probably would laugh at that. Yeah, wham. Just slap him, yeah? But those big dogs I don't trust. 
I really don't. But anyway, how y'all doing? I'm sorry I didn't ask you how you been doing. I know I haven't been up here in a couple of days. But you know the, how I get the anticipation when I get ready to go to the doctor. I get all nervous, all jittery, can't sleep. Matter of fact, I'm a little hyped up right now because I need to take me a nap. But I said I got to call the AAG team to see what's going on, how they doing and stuff. I'm doing good. And I don't know if the doctor, if she wrote me a prescription for my neck, because I told her my neck hurt. She said, she might give me some cream or something. I don't know. But I, I'm supposed to, if she does, I'm not going to call her. That's for sure. If she does give me some, my pharmacy will probably bring it. If they don't bring it today, they'll bring it probably tomorrow. Just a, uh, something she said that'll make my neck feel better. And that about wraps it up, y'all. And there was a lady that came into the waiting room when I was in the waiting room, waiting for the doctor. You know that little room they put you in after they take your blood pressure, after they stick your thing in there. And, you know, after that, the episode is over. <laughs> this lady comes in there and she says that she's they're doing a study about, I think it was breast cancer for older, elder women. And she said if I was interested in, interested in it, it would take about an hour, you know, it would be an hour, and it would be tomorrow morning, which is at 10 o'clock, which is tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> and so she asked me if I was interested. She said they paid $25 for the little study. I said, yeah, I'll come for $25, you daggone too. <laughs> You, you nuts? Yeah, I'm coming. Anything else you got going on you want me to come to? All right, then. Let's do this. And so that's what I'm going to do, y'all. Hopefully, if I get up in time. But you know I'm not going to sweat it. If I don't, if I make it, I make it. If I don't, it's at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. So if you don't know, now you know, y'all, because I ain't breaking my, you know. I ain't doing that one just for some study that y'all making. Where's my, these ain't my regular glasses. I'm sitting up here just a, hey, what is this? These are my glasses that I used to have in the bathroom. I used to keep these in the bathroom, you know, if I want to go in there and read or something like that. And I don't have my other glasses. But my other glasses are in my pocketbook because I had went to the doctor and I took them just in case. I want to look at my phone like everybody else up in there be doing. But mainly I just check my phone see what time it is. And guess what? My phone was darn near dead. I got it over here charging right now. As soon as I got home, I said, oh my goodness, I think the phone was 5%. I said, oh my goodness, I think the phone was 5 percent and I'm on the bike trail thinking, oh my goodness, you know, because uh, my, my uh, scooter, it kept going down to like I didn't have any cells left. I said, oh my God, am I going to run out of juice out here? Because I knew I had a full charge because I had charged it last night just in case I wanted to ride it, you know, to the doctor's office. And it kept telling me it was down to the uh, yellow light, you know, otherwise it has like, I think it's three, or is it two? I think it's two green lights. I'm not sure right now, y'all. I mean a green. You, you get a, a red light, a yellow light, and I think it's two green ones. Let me double check that, because I'm not sure myself. Oh, this is Michael Randy. Uh, one, two. Yeah, that's right. You got a red one, a yellow one, and two green. When it gets in the green, when it gets in the yellow, it means you ain't got that much time. You know, you got time. You still got time. But I was a long way from home <laughs> with this yellow light showing up. But then all of a sudden, after that, it popped up to a full charge. I think something's wrong with the mechanism in the thing, yeah. I made it home. Because I was, I was prepared that if I have to call my ride, I would call, you know, because they got, they even put my scooter right in their trunk. Or whatever, wherever they put it at. You know, it's like a station wagon. I think I told you that before. And they let it down, you know, like a little ramp and drive it right up in the car. And I wasn't worried. The only thing I was worried if I, will it go out while I'm on this stretch of, of uh, the bike trail? where there's no way out. You're gonna either go from way back where you came from, 
or you're going to continue forward. You have to walk it out to know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, while, you're still, while I'm close to home, it's like you ain't got no problem with that. But the further you go down the bike trail, the longer the turns are, you know, that you can get off it. Because there's no cross streets or anything. You, you just straight like a trail, you know. I said, wow, am I going to have to push this school? <laughs> Picked her over there, all around Grandma, pushing a scooter down the street. Oh, no, hell, scooter. No, no, no. Let's see how much. I'm... I got to get my glasses out of my purse. I think. Looks like 11%. I got 11%, I think, y'all. I ain't going nowhere though, so it's got all afternoon to charge. But I can't believe I walked out of the house. And I, I think it was 12% or something like that. And I kept checking my phone to see what time it was, how long I was waiting there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was my excitement for the day. You don't have to get a certain day. That's about it. You go to the doctor all the time. Well, I do anyway. Go to the doctor, go to the store, go to the grocery store. That's about it. And if you're a church goer, go to church. That's it. So therefore, you know, y'all better get you some hobbies. So when you reach my age, you'll have something to do. I have a hobby. I got my crocheting. I got my scrabble. I got, you know what, I got Remember, I don't know if you remember this light. Wait a minute. Let's see if I can get it off here. Remember this? I had it sitting up there. That's why I was looking so red, probably. I had it sitting on top of my, uh... Let me check this off. And you know, it was sitting in my room all this time. Never used it. But look, fully charged. Full charge. Right there. Can you tell the difference? I can't tell the difference. I wasted my money on this little thing. Looked like it should cost three dollars, but I think I paid fourteen. I forgot now. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna talk to you again tomorrow, hopefully. I might talk to you later on tonight. But right now, I think I'm gonna make myself a tuna fish sandwich. Or oh, I might eat some more of those noodles and hamburger because uh, that's ready already. I'm gonna have to make that. I just put that in the oven. Matter of fact, I should have put it in the oven before I called you. I mean, before I came up here. Thumb be up, y'all. Give me a old thumb be up. Thumb be up, y'all. Tell your friends to thumb be up. Show me video. And what else? Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified. Yeah, because uh, the old channel is shrinking down to nothing, y'all. After a while, y'all, I'm going to start to feel like, <clears throat> mm -hmm. well, you already know how YouTube works. Well, some of y'all know how to YouTube works better than I do. You know how it works. And you know that uh, just because you got a lot of subscribers don't mean jack. What means jack, y'all? <coughs> I mean, subscribers is good to have subscribers too. But see, the subscribers gotta be a participant. You know, like thumbing you up, commenting to your channel. And that way your channel will grow. You know, so I don't know uh, how many subscribers are real or not. You know what I'm saying? Because it definitely ain't growing, it's shrinking. But it's not your fault. Not you. Not you. You know, that you're faithfully showing up every day and commenting and giving me a thumb up and believe me I appreciate you I really do but it would be nice to get a paycheck once I don't know why and on that note I go with love I'll see you again soon